Mm. Yeah, we didn't. Mm. Every we didn't get a purse. purse. No, and purse is supposed to be yeah, cool. Just, so the next time we go, um, we'll have to go to Perth. I mean, there's a, it's a big country, even though they say it's a small country. Okay, so Copycat Keith, over to you. Well, hello, hello. This is your friend, me, Copycat Keith. And um, let, let me just say that I'm your friend, but we both know that, that you got some, now you got many bad habits. And I, I, I could take the time to list them, but I don't short time, so I don't have time to do them all. But I'll tell you a little bit about mine. Uh, procrastination, overindulgence, laziness, sloppiness, bad temper, inability to follow through. That's just to name a couple of them. <laughs> and I'm sure you could add to that list as well. Here's the thing. Those vices, those things right there, they will certainly follow, follow up those pistons that we have the ability to reach our pinnacle and get our total success. Uh, there was a fellow, Ben Franklin. Uh, he was very influential. Ben was a scientist, uh, a patriot, author, a diplomat, inventor, printer, Ben, philosopher. He was everything. Taught himself how to read, how to speak French, Spanish, Italian, Latin. Ben was super influ influential in helping America get its independence. But even Ben Franklin had some bad habits. And what Ben did, he, he, he came up with a way to try to eliminate some of those bad habits. And what he, what he would do, he came up with this magic formula and he wrote down 13 virtues that he thought you had to have to have true success. It was temperance, silence, order, resolute, for frugality, industrious, sincerity, justice, moderation, cleanliness, tranquility, charity, humility. But what he did, he put them all down in a book and he gave each one of them a separate page. And he was smart enough to know that he was only going to attack one at a time. And he made a special column that every time he violated one of those virtuous rules, he would put a dot in it and keep track of it. So, help. Help, help me, Dr. Phil. Help me, Dr. Phil. Uh, uh. How'd that work out for you, Ben? Ben said that one thing was responsible for, uh, he wrote more about it than anything else. And that one thing was responsible for his happiness and his great success. And they call it the Ben Franklin uh, 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 success formula. He had successful people like Frank Bircher. He followed this formula, recording it and, and keeping track of stuff like that. Uh, Frank Bircher, he wrote How I Raised Myself from Success to Failure in Selling and was a top salesman in an insurance company, huge in his field. Other people like W. Clement Stone use it. He was the founder of Combined Insurance. But many people in the past, and this whole general theory of recording this stuff and keeping track of it has worked good. And there was a uh, real wise mountain man and he, 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 he married a super wise lady and together they were a great team and they had this tribe and the mountain man named Bo, he told his tribe, I want you to get out a positive message. Matter of fact, two positive messages every day. And he told them, I want you to use a recorded Cool to get these messages out. And it was a message about ASEA, and we were to use two tools. Now, I, try, I tried this, but then I tracked it, Bo. Every day I got it out, I put it on there, check, I did it, check, I did it, check, I did it, check, I did it, recording this stuff. And um, my mentor, uh, Dave Struckman and Miriam Spencer, that's Diamond Dave and Marvelous Miriam, they had us reading this book, The Consistency Change for Network Marketers. And they had the same theory in there where you record it and keep track of it. And it's amazing. We'll talk about that when we come back. But your assignment is to the next 20 minutes, go out, use a tool, 
tell somebody about it, see it, and then we'll start recording it as we go forward. But that's your assignment for the next 20 minutes. And I'll come back and tell you how beneficial that's been for you. Back to you, Cindy. Absolutely, Keith. So what are, what are we recording? How many people we're reaching out to? Is that what we're recording? Yeah, you want to reach out whatever tool that you want. You want to use a tool, spend this 20 minutes reaching out. So it's a initial contact or follow-up contact, but you want to use a tool to get it. And then we'll come back and let you know just how powerful that is, what you've been doing. Awesome. We'll see you in 20. Perfect. Thanks, Keith.